Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you what I made for lunch this week for work. And so I made these loaded meatballs that were easy to make. They're cheap to make, delicious, and semi-healthy. <laughs> so let's get into this recipe. We won't need much at all. So first I'm going to saute down some spinach, but I'm going to start with a little butter. Y'all know I'm always starting with butter, child. Y'all, I'm just not into these oils. They've been making my stomach hurt. Um, I sauteed down some garlic and the entire bag of spinach. I added down in here one entire bag of fresh spinach <laughs> down in here. You want to saute it down until you get this right here. Um, as you can see, I don't have any liquid in, in the skillet. You don't want any liquid because you don't want to over moisten your meatballs. So make sure you get rid of all the liquid or you could strain it or you know, damp it on a paper towel or something. I will not be seasoning this, but I did add some scotch bonnet hot pepper sauce for that heat and that spice. You don't want to over salt or over season your meatballs. So to my ground turkey, you can use whatever ground meat you prefer. I'm going to add my panko breadcrumbs. Those are seasoned, so that has, you know, some seasoning as well. The cheese, I'm using pepper jack. I'm using this spice right here. So this is why I did not season the spinach. There was no point, no need to do that. And that was all the seasoning that I used. I didn't do anything. So the spinach that I cooked, I did chop it up. You want to chop it up and add it to the mixture. Once it's cooled and chopped, this is what it looks like. The pan is nice and ready to go. And then I'm just going to form the balls. So now I'm going to form my balls and this is what they look like. Um, look at the spinach all throughout there. They were so good and so delicious, you guys. Not over salted, not over seasoned, just perfect spot on with a hint of heat. So these are what they look like to a hot preheated oven. 375, you want to pop them in there and they come out looking like this. Look how perfect and gorge they look. Allow them to cool down a bit. And then I'm going to show you guys how they look on the plate as well as when I put them in the containers. Y'all, look at the bottom of this. Look how crusty this is. And that's because of the cheese, okay? The cheese inside the meatball. Look how crusty and delicious that is on the bottom. There's no cap in my cooking is what I'm saying, okay? Get it together. Um, this is what the inside looks like, and I'm going to plate it up. Now, I did get 18 meatballs out of this, and that's because they're really small. Like, this container is actually really small. And so, um, yeah, you might get 12. You might get 14 if you make them bigger. But I got 18. And I put four in here. I cut one in half to fit in the little corners. But I added four in here, and that's it. You could put this with some lemon parm pasta, rice, anything you want, but I'm keeping it low carb and I'm adding some steamed sugar snap peas and broccoli in the second compartment. And in the top compartment, I'm adding this cantaloupe. The cantaloupe was on sale. And so I just decided to get it, chop it up, child. Whatever fruit on sale, that's what I get. If I can't get my favorite fruit, then that's it. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for your support and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.